Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about ledger, the format of ledger, the balancing of ledger accounts, and lastly, the differences between journal and ledger. These are the topics I'm going to explain to you in detail in this video. In the last video, I have explained to you the meaning of the term journal and what is the format of journal. What is an account? What are the different types of accounts? Classification of accounts. Then rules of accounting according to traditional method and according to modern method. Then I have explained you about compound entry and opening entry. These are the topics I have covered in the previous video. Hope you have watched that video. And now the continuation of that. I am going to explain you about ledger. See carefully. Ledger. After all the transactions are uh, I mean, recorded in journal, periodically the transactions from journal is transferred to another book called ledger. So principally there are two books of accounts, journal and ledger. The journal is the first book where the transactions are first recorded. As soon as the transaction takes place, it will be recorded in the book called journal. So every day, so many transactions are conducted, all the transactions are recorded in journal. It is also called subsidiary book. Later on, at the end of the day or at the end of the week, periodically, we transfer the transactions from journal to another book. That book is called ledger. So after all the transactions are journalized, the entries in the journal are transferred to a appropriate accounts in the ledger. The ledger contains accounts. All the accounts are opened in the ledger. So after passing the journal entry, we have to see what are the two accounts. In every transaction, we will find two accounts. One account is debited, the other account is credited. Now these two accounts will be surged in the ledger where that account is. In that account, we have to take, the, take on the debit side or we have to take it on the credit side as per the journal entry. So this transferring the entries from journal to ledger, it is called posting. Now ledger is a book where various accounts pertaining to a particular person or thing or service are grouped together in one place in the form of an account. In this ledger, various accounts we will open for each of the person, for each of the thing or each of the service and grouped at one place. For example, monthly salary paid to the employees. So every month the salary is paid. Every month salaries are paid. Every month the rent is paid. So all the transactions are mixed up in the journal. Now we will open an account salary account in the ledger. Now as soon as the salary paid is recorded in journal, that transaction will be posted from the from journal to ledger in the salary account. In the salary account, we'll take it on the debit side to bank salary paid to bank salary paid. So ultimately, what will happen at the end of the year? Twelve times we have paid the salary. Just you find out the total of the twelve amounts. We'll get the total salary paid during one year. Similarly, in the case of rent paid, every month rent is paid. So all these are trans recorded in journal. Periodically, it is posted in rent account. One account is opened rent account. In that account, all transactions are posted. So if you take the total of the rent, we will get the rent paid during the year. Like this, all accounts are opened in the ledger. Now, ledger contains account of all persons with whom the business deals. That means that it will contain, the ledger will contain all the personal account, personal account of the persons with whom the business has dealing. The business has dealing with so many persons like customers are there, like creditors, suppliers are there, bankers are there. So many people the business is having dealing. So we will open an account. Mr. X account, Mr. Y account, Mr. Z account, Mr. A account, Mr. B account, all the personal accounts are opened in the ledger. Similarly, then for all the assets held by the business, apart from persons, a business organization will held the assets like 
plant and machinery, furniture, equipment, computers, all these are the assets. So we will open one account for each asset in the ledger. Machinery account, furniture account, land and building account, equipment account like that. Thirdly, and expenses and incomes earned and incurred during the year. A number of expenses are incurred like salary paid, rent paid, printing and stationery, telephone bill, electricity bill, all these are the expenses. Similarly, incomes earned, interest earned, commission earned, discount earned, etc. All these are the incomes. Miscellaneous income, all these are the incomes. So we will open the account of all expenses, we will open all account of incomes. That means ledger will contain all the accounts of persons, all the accounts of assets, all the accounts of expenses, incomes or gains. That's it. Now ledger will be defined as a book which contains a record of all transactions permanently in a summarized and classified form. So it's a book which contains all the accounts which are systematically classified and summarized. So this is the main book from which we can be able to prepare the financial statements. So from this ledger only, we will take the total of all ledger accounts, prepare the trial balance and after making the trial balance, we can be able to make the financial statements. So this book is very, very important because it will give you the summarized information of all the accounts taking place in the business. Now, it's a book of final entry. It's a book of final entry. All business transactions are first recorded in journal and then recorded in ledger. So it's a process of recording first in journal, then in ledger. Now the process of transferring the transactions from journal to ledger is called posting. The process of transferring the entries from journal to ledger. This process is called posting. That's it. So this is the complete explanation I have given about ledger. In examination, you may be asked a theory question regarding explain ledger. So this discussion will be more than enough. Now format. What is the format of the ledger account? First of all, we'll write down the name of the account on the top. Name of the account. Like salary account, rent account, Mr. X account, Mr. Y account. We'll write down. Then left hand side DR stands for debit. Right hand side CR stands for credit. Now four columns, one, two, three, four. Four columns we make on debit side and four columns on credit side. The four columns are date, particular, JF. JF stands for journal folio. That means the transaction which we are recording here is found on which page number in the journal? Which page number? That means the transaction coming here is from which page number in the journal. That page number is called journal folio. By recording here, we can be able to track. We can be able to check that this transaction has been transferred, posted from which, uh, I mean, entry. So if you go back to the journal, take out that journal folio page number, you can be able to get to the entry there. From that entry, we have posted it to this ledger account. So this is journal folio, the amount. So date, particulars, journal folio, amount. Four columns on left side. Same four columns on credit side. Date, particulars, JF, amount. So this is the format of a ledger account. So this is the end of the explanation of journal. Now balancing of ledger accounts. See after posting all the entries from journal to ledger, at the end of the year, when the year ends, we have to find out what are the balances in every account. Some accounts balances are closed. The totals are same. For example, during the year, we sold goods to Mr. X for 5 lakh. We sold goods to Mr. X for 5 lakh on credit. So his account was debited. Later on, Mr. X has paid 5 lakh rupees. We have received 5 lakh. His account is credited. Now, when we sell the goods to Mr. X, his account was debited. When he paid the amount to us, his account is credited. So debit side 5 lakh, credit side 5 lakh, X account is closed. No balance at all. So some personal accounts, 
the total will be same but remaining uh, remaining accounts there may be some balance so we have to do balancing at the end of the year so what is balancing and how to find out simply balance means the difference between debit side and credit side the difference between debit side and credit side is called the balance we have to make balancing so how to make the balancing after the transactions have been posted in the various accounts they are balanced the term balance means the difference between the two sides of the account debit side and credit side example if the debit side total is 80000 credit side the total is 70000 debit side total 80000 credit side total 70000 that means the difference 80000 minus 70000 10000 rupees is called the balance we have to find out the balance now the following steps followed in balancing an account what are the systematic steps to be followed take the total of two sides accounts separately on a piece of paper we write down what is the total on the debit side what is the total on the credit side debit side total 80000 suppose credit side total 70000 we have taken separately debit total 80000 credit total 70000 ascertain the difference between the two totals on the two sides the difference is called balance so 80000 minus 70000 10,000 is the difference. This 10,000 is called the balance. Now, what is the third step? Enter the difference in the amount column of that side showing less total. Now, this difference of 10,000 rupees should be written in the amount column of that side which is having lower total. Which is having lower total. Now, in our example, debit total 80,000, credit total 70,000. So which is lower credit side it is less so on credit side amount column we write on 10,000 credit side amount column we write on 10,000 now if the credit side is less write on by diff by balance carried down C by D stands for carried down so on the credit side we take the amount 10,000 in amount column against this we write on by balance carried down that's it Suppose if debit side is less, we write down to balance carried down. To balance carried down debit side if it is less. Then next step, after putting the difference in the appropriate side, add both the sides of the account, draw a line below and above the total. After taking this balance, take the total of both the sides. After taking both the sides, draw two lines below and above the total. Next one. At the beginning of the next accounting period, the balance is written on the opposite side with the words to balance brought down or by balance brought down as the case may be. So first of all, we have completed, we have closed the account. At the beginning of the next year, next accounting period, this carried down balance should be taken as brought down on the opposite side, on the opposite side. Example, if the closing balance was by balance carried down. On the credit side, we are having by balance carried down. So next year, opposite side, debit side, we take two balance brought down. Suppose in the last year, two balance carried down. So current year, it will be by balance brought down. So opposite side, we will take. That's all. So this is called balancing. We'll do balancing while doing the problems. Now a theory question may be asked in examination regarding what are the differences between journal and ledger both are the important books of accounts having their own advantages having their own advantages both are important now what are the differences the differences is explained in a tabular form now i'll explain one of one by one point it's a book of original or prime entry first of all Journal is a book of original or prime entry because the, in journal we will record the entry first. As soon as the transaction takes place, it is first recorded in journal. The original entry. Original entry. So that's why it is a book of original entry. It's a book of final or second entry. Secondary book. The ledger is called secondary book because after passing the after recording the transaction in journal then only we record the transaction in ledger that means in ledger the transactions are coming from journal so it's a secondary book 
but it is also a prime book. Why it is book a final book? Because no other book is there after Led Journal. It's a final book. We have only two books: Journal and Led Journal. After Led Journal, no other book. So that's why it is called a final book. Because the uh, amounts from journal, uh, sorry, from ledger are going to financial statements. Next, it's a subsidiary book, whereas it's a principal book of accounts. Subsidiary book means book of original entry. The book of original entry is called subsidiary book, whereas this book is a principal book. Ultimately, we will record, we will make the trial balance, we will make the financial statements from ledger not from journal so that's why it is called the principal book thirdly it is prepared on the basis of source document like vouchers receipts etc whenever we record the transaction in journal there should be some evidence there should be some supporting documents on the basis of supporting documents only the transaction will be recorded in journal the supporting documents are vouchers or any receipts on the basis of receipts, vouchers, agreements, on that basis only entries are recorded in journal. Whereas in ledger, journal is the basis for recording transaction in ledger. Ledger does not require any evidence. Right? Ledger requires that this transaction should be there in journal. So ledger will see that this transaction is there in journal or not. So journal is the basis for recording the transaction in ledger. Whereas voucher and receipt are the basis for recording the transaction in journal. Next one, it is prepared to record all transactions in chronological order. Chronological order means according to time. The transactions are recorded in journal according to date wise. First, second, third, fourth, like that. According to date wise, the transactions are recorded chronologically in case of journal. Whereas it is prepared to see the net effect of various transactions affecting a particular account. What is the net effect on a particular account? We have to see in ledger. That means his account is showing a debit balance or his account is, uh, its account is showing a credit balance. Next comes journal entries are not balanced. Just now I told you balancing is required in ledger account. Whereas balancing is not at all there in journal. Next one, journal entries do not serve the basis of preparation of final accounts. Final account, the journal will not help in making the final accounts. Final accounts will take the account balances from ledger. The so ledger is very very important for preparing the final accounts, financial statements. Whereas journal will not help in preparing the final accounts. Last one, narration is given for each transaction, each entry. In journal, after every transaction, a narration will be specific given. But in case of ledger accounts, no narration is required. That's all. These are few differences between journal and ledger. So this is the end of this lecture regarding the ledger, the format of ledger, balancing of account and differences between journal and ledger. So after watching these two videos, you will be in a position to understand how the recording of transaction will take place in journal and how it will be posted to ledger accounts. In the next video, I'll start the problems on journalizing and ledger posting. That's it. Ha, so viewers, if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share my channel in your groups, in your friend circles, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Get the command on the subject. Get the confidence on the subject. Enjoy learning. Give your comments on these lectures. I'm waiting for comments. I'll feel excited. I'll, give, I'll get more encouragement to give much more better videos to you for your enhancement of your knowledge. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So I will start the problems on journal and ledger in the next video.